Hello! Welcome to my ghost walkthrough of Shadowplay. This is a mission from Black Project 20th Anniversary Contest that didn't score too highly. It landed in pretty much the middle as far as voting results are concerned, which is fair enough, I suppose. However, there were a few voter comments that accused this mission of having no story, and I just don't agree with those. What this mission doesn't have is a bunch of readables, but it does have a story, it just tells it through its environments. And I'm gonna point out a couple of my favorite examples of how it does that during my today's run. So let's begin, and let's read the briefing. Just last week, some miners uncovered a catacomb beneath the mountains near Cragscliffe, dating back to the time before the city. Most of the artifacts are being taken to museums or destroyed by the hammers, but some managed to slip through the cracks and into the city. More or less trustworthy sources have it that one such piece of loot, a jeweled encrusted sword, landed in the hands of Lord Rosenfield in downtown. All the buzz about the discovery means I'll have no problem finding a buyer, so it would be irresponsible of me to pass on this lead. Rosenfield lives in a gaudy golden manor, typical of his type. There is one guard out front, seems friendly enough, but there is no key on his belt. Time to look for another way in. Right, and our objectives. Break into Rosenfield's manor and steal the ancient jeweled sword. Rent won't pay itself, steal at least 2,000 loot. You're a thief, not a murderer, don't kill anyone. Once everything is done, return to the alley where you started. I don't need to buy anything, so let's just begin. And once again, we don't have a map, which would have been useful on the first playthrough. <laughs> as the manor's layout is completely non-symmetrical, but it's not too difficult to figure it out. Here's the first piece of loot, a pair of opera spectacles. And here is the manor, and the front door guard. This guy is neutral, but he will turn hostile if he sees you use your weapons, so if you wanna rope up there, for example, you have to first break line of sight with him. Let me first show you what's back here. This is Rosenfield's back garden, which can only be opened from within. And here we can break into a house. There is nothing of value in here though, and the only reason you would want to come in, as far as I can tell, is to get over this rooftop where you can jump over the wall. But then you can also simply rope up here or here or even here. I'm gonna use the back garden to escape from the manor and I'm gonna show you a different way in. In the fountain there should be six coins for a total of 41. And from here I should be able to use a rope. <gasps> Two gold candlesticks in this room. And in the bedroom we have Cole's house key and a safe. Side, total 178. The key unlocks his front door, and we can pickpocket this guy, who has this exact same key. To get down safely here, we can land on this lamp post, and then if we go backwards, we should be able to avoid taking any damage. Here is the guy we pickpocketed, and I wanna rope up here next.
on this balcony. There's a gold goblet. And we can get down safely here. And the last place of interest in the city is up here. Nuggets, total 443. Getting down from here is a little finicky. On this side, it should be safer. And I'm gonna lockpick this to get in. that we are inside and in the kitchen there is a gold plate and a gold goblet this door leads into the manor proper but we'll get to it a little later for now let's head into the basement someone there wine cellar. There are two bottles of wine. And this leads into the guards' quarters. Now, this guy can be quite difficult to pass. It's a little easier if you dodge the torch over there, but still not 100% safe, and there is a better way around him. Down here is a gold plate vent that connects three areas. Here we can also get to the guard's quarters and pick up three more pieces of loot, total 532. But once again, instead of trying to pass that guy, we're gonna circumvent him. last place this connects to is the pool room. <laughs> and here we have a gold ring, gold plate and a gold goblet. And we can also get in here. Fire poker, total 782. And here is the safe way to enter the guards' quarters. Here is the captain's room, and this door we can pick. Here is Rosenfield Manor Master Key, which we don't need, strictly speaking, but it is handy. And here are four more pieces of loot. There is nothing else of interest in the guard's quarters. There is an armory, but it only has equipment, including an explosive charge, but no loot. So we can relock with the Master Key.
and we can finally enter the manor proper. Be careful coming out here, because there can be a guard stationed right above you. In fact, I think he's coming. There he is. And there is another guard coming as well. Four pieces of loot here, and a book switch that reveals a valuable book. Total 1094. two more pieces of loot, and let me quickly show you. This door will take us into the back garden. And here is that room where this guy can be stationed overlooking this area. Another one over there. Gotta stop jumping at nothing. <coughs> this door leads back into the kitchen. And in the dining room there are two gold candlesticks and a gold goblet. The guard patrolling the foyer has Rosenfield Manor exterior doors key. But now that we have the master key, any other key we pick up is pretty much obsolete, so the only reason to get it is for the pickpocket count, which I of course want. And in this room there are four more pieces of loot. Sir? Was that you? Total 1480. This door also leads out into the back garden. for one more cycle here. Hello? Show yourself! Hello? Anyone there? There is a guard stationed up there. Now we're coming up on the most difficult loot in the mission. Let's make a real save. <laughs> so there are three diamonds hanging from the chandelier here. And to get those, without losing a rope arrow, I'm gonna have to shoot one pretty close to the chandelier itself. And another one close to one of the windows here. We can get the diamonds and retrieve our ropes. <laughs> this will 
be my way out once I'm done. And in the gallery, there are three pieces of loot. And a staircase down to a theater. And I'm not sure why this room makes me as uncomfortable as it does. The sound that plays here I've heard a million times before, in both the original and fan missions. And I usually don't even pay attention to it, it's always somewhere in the background. But used like this, it makes this room feel really dreadful. There is a flute here, total 1055, and the checks of her loot gold. Someone behind me? She raises here, and... This will just take us back down here, where we don't have to go. Up there is a vent, but I'm not gonna have to use it for the route I'm taking. And in the library there is a book, The Undercroft by S. Perry, and three pieces of loot. Total 23.05. Statue, total twenty six forty five. <sighs> What's going over there? Over there? He is the captain of the guard. He has the guard's quarters key, Just the which wind, unlocks the door in the guard's quarters. We are able to <laughs> lockpick. <laughs> And the door to <laughs> Rosenfield's room, we can lockpick as well, but it responds there? to the master oh. key also. Here is Rosenfield, he has a bottle of wine, and there is another one in here, plus a gold goblet. Gold candlestick, and here is Rosenfield's treasure room. There's a gold hammer, and the ring, total 2910, that's all the loot in the mission. Here is the sword we need, our main goal. And there is also a head in a chest here, and a tombstone. Here lies the body of M. Gladius Purcell, born 756, died 828, in the 72nd year of her age. So I want to use this room as an example of how this mission tells its story. Because this room tells you everything you need to know about Rosenfield. You don't need a ledger of his acquisitions, and you don't need a diary by one of his guards or servants in which they complain about how much of a hoarder their lord is. You just enter here and everything is instantly clear. So story doesn't mean readables. Story can be told through environments or even with sounds, like in the theater. I didn't give this mission a perfect 10 out of 10 for story, because that would be a bit too much, but I scored it 8 out of 10, because quite honestly, it does visual storytelling better than most other missions I've played. Who's there? Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh well. I don't know what it was. That's the last so here is the back jumped. garden again. <laughs> we can use the tree to land safely. Seconds found 2910 loot out of 2910, picked three buckets and five locks. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna take another break now, so I'll see you guys in a month or so. And as always, take care.